This is Mr. Hassan's math channel. I'm now answering question three, part two, from the October 2023 International A-Level Pure Mathematics P4 paper from Edexcel. Now this question, I've already answered part one, which was about integration by parts. I answered that in a separate video, and this is going to be in its separate video. So it says here, use integration by substitution to show that the integral of this expression can be expressed as a plus lin b when you have these limits here. Okay, so it's um, a definite integration, like part one was, where a and b are constants to be found. Now, this is um, quite uncommon, where they didn't tell you what substitution to use, but normally it's pretty obvious what to use. There's normally a part of the expression that you have to integrate, which looks like a function inside another function. And here we can see very clearly, you have this 2x minus 1 inside the x, like the squared, right? So what would be most likely would be is that we would use the substitution and we'll say let u equal 2x minus 1. So we're going to use this in order, the substitution in order to solve this problem. So now one of the first steps I always do is I say, okay, let me call the expression that we are trying to integrate, let me call it y. So I'll say y equals 4x over, in brackets, 2x minus 1 squared. Now our objective here, here is to integrate, to integrate y with respect to x, with the limits of 3 and 21 over 2. That's our objective, right? But we are introducing a, another variable u, and we're going to use substitution in order to achieve our objectives. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this, the in, this is the same as the integral of y dx, so you leave it as it is, but then you put over du times du. So y dx du du, that will give us the same answer as this, but now everything has to be in terms of u. Everything that's going to be inside the expression has to be in terms of u, including the limits. So this is going to be, let's call this u1 and u2. So let's start off with the limits. Okay, we can say u1 is going to be 2 times, we're going to take the x value, which is 3, minus 1, that's going to give you 5. And u2 is going to be 2 times, take the x value from here, which is 21 over 2, minus 1. That's going to give you, um, that's, that will cancel 21 minus 1, it's going to give you 20. So our limits, u1 and u2, are going to be 20 up here and 5 down there. And the y part, let's have a look at the y part. We have to make y in terms of u. So we know that y is equal to 4x over 2x minus 1 squared. Okay, so let's look at the 4x part. So the 4x, okay, we can write this. Now we know that u is equal to 2x minus 1. Okay, so if we know that u is equal to 2x minus 1, so let's, let's deal with the 4x. 4x dot dot. Okay, u is equal to 2x minus 1. So if I add 1 to both sides, I'll have u plus 1 is equal to 2x. I want 4x. So if I multiply this by 2, I'll have 4x. If I multiply this by 2, I have 2 times u plus 1. Okay? So that's this part. So that's 2 times u plus 1 over and 2x minus 1 squared. Well, u is 2x minus 1. That's going to be u squared. So y can be expressed in this form in terms of u. So this is going to be the integral between... As we said, u1 is going to be 5, and u2 is going to be uh, 20. And we have 2 times u plus 1 over u squared times, now we've got to find the x du. So we've got the y, this is, this is basically, I've replaced the y with all of this. That's what y is. Now I've got to find what the x du is and put it over here. Okay, so what is dx du? Well, let's use this space up here, up here. We know that u is equal to 2x minus 1. I can find du dx very easily. That's going to be 2. Therefore, dx du 
is going to be equal to a half. So I'm going to multiply this by a half and then integrate that with respect to u. And that half is what is represented by dx du. So y dx du du, the limits I have changed them according to what u is. This is now ready to try to simplify. We've now got everything in terms of u. Let's try to simplify and then sort this out. So the, the two and the two cancel and the half cancel out. Now, here I can express this as two separate fractions. So I have integral of, so to get this ready for integration, okay. Um, now, some people will say this is the differential of what's underneath, but it's not because you have a plus one here. If you differentiate to u squared, you're going to get two u, right? If this was, for example, u squared plus um, u underneath, u squared plus u, then you will differentiate to um 2u plus 1, or u squared plus 2u, you would end up with 2u plus 2, which would be the same as what you have up here. But here, no, you have to have another plus u here for us to call it, uh, to use the, um, you know, the differential over the original function. So here what we do is we split this into two separate fractions. So you have u squared, u over u squared. Now u over u squared is going to give you 1 over u. That's 1 over u plus... And 1 over u squared is u to the power of minus 2. Okay, so we, we're gonna, we've got this ready for differentiation. So we put u over u squared plus 1 over u squared. That gives you 1 over u plus u to the power of minus 2. That's how we got that. Now we are ready to integrate this with our limits. So once we start integrating, we get rid of the integral sign. This is going to be lin of the modulus of u plus, and you have... Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Limits are 20 and 5. So we're almost there now. So we have lin of the modulus of u um, minus 1 over u. Because this is going to be minus 1 over u. Now we are ready to substitute 20 and 5 into here. So we have lin of 20. We don't have to put the modulus sign because it's positive now. Minus 1 over 20. Then take away. Now we've got to put... 5 into there, that's lin of 5 minus 1 over 5. So if we simplify this, of course we don't put plus c's because it's definite. So you have lin 20 minus lin 5 minus 1 over 20 plus 1 over 5. Okay, so here we can use the division law. So it's lin of 20 divided by 5, and that's going to be minus... It's 1 over 20 plus 4 over 20, right? If you multiply that by 4 and 4, so it's going to be, it's going to be plus 3 over 20, right? Plus 3 over 20, because you have, that's going to be 4 over 20 minus 1 over 20, yeah. So 20 over 5 gives us 4. So finally, we can say, let's just move this down a bit. I think it equals, that's lin of 4 plus 3 over 20. Okay, and that's how we had to split the answer. It's better to write it the other way around, because that's what they told us to, so it doesn't really matter. But 3 over 20 plus lin 4. 3 over 20 plus the lin of 4, and there we have our final answer. And that concludes question number 3, part 2. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions dealing with integration in general from P4 in this playlist. Integration by substitution, you'll find a, play you'll find a playlist over here that deals with it. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.